Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with a brand new experiment. I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to um, set these bins up today. It is Christmas Eve, but I think this is going to be posted on Christmas as a little extra bonus, something new to look forward to. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how I make my bins. These are small bins, but it's done the same whether it's a smaller bin or a larger bin. These are three gallon totes. Um, they're just the store brand from Home Depot. And to, to make a bin, first of all, I pick a bin that I want to use. Depending on the size is going to be, you know, what I'm using it for, how much space I need. So I chose these three gallon Huskies. Need some bedding. So this is just cardboard. That's all I'm going to use is some cardboard, a drill, um, I'm using a quarter inch drill bit to drill holes in these bins. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using a scale, uh, simply because we're going to weigh out the bedding, make it very scientific. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to set up three identical bins, and we're going to try to see if there's a difference in reproduction rates um, according to species of worms. So we're going to do one red wigglers, we're going to do one European night crawlers, and one African night crawlers, but we're only going to start with four mature worms. So the idea will be to track it and see which bin takes off the fastest and um, see if there's a difference. So I believe Tori Davis um, with Anarchy Worm Bin, she's going to be doing something similar. I think she's also going to throw in a temperature um, aspect to it, putting some of the bins in her basement where it's cooler and some upstairs where it's warmer. Um, and also Wayne Tadlock, who's also a subscriber and a member of Experimental Worm Fun uh, on Facebook, I'll link that group below, he's going to be doing one as well. We're all doing it a little bit differently, but with the same uh, end goal in mind. So I'm gonna take my drill, get to work, drill uh, the holes in all of these bins, and then I'll come back and we will set these up. Okay guys, so I did each of the bins completely identical. I did six holes on each side, four holes on each end, and I actually did a ton in the lids because my European night crawlers like to um, explore. So I did 33 in each lid. So the next thing I wanna do here is um, measure out my bedding should have put this on and zeroed out the scale, but since I'm going to be measuring all the same, it should be just fine. So, 6.5. So I'm going to take this and dump this in here. And that gives us a nice solid starter. And I'm going to do the same with each of these other two, and then I'll come back and we will get ready to add the worms. Bin 2 measurement, 6.5. Number 3, again, 6.5. So each of our bins now has equal amounts of shredded cardboard. So I'm going to go get some worms and get some water to moisten these down. And then we will get started. Alright, so I got 1.5 liters of water. I did it this way so that I can measure exactly how much I'm putting into each bin. I'm going to try to put start with half a liter. All right, that takes me down to one liter. Takes me down to a half a liter. So, I'm going to mix this around with my hands and see how it feels. There's a little bit standing water in the bottom, but this cardboard will soak that up. And I think it'll end up being a really good consistency, actually. So, I'm going to um, mix all these up, let them get nice and moist, sit for a few minutes, and... Um, We'll introduce our worms in here. So I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so we have four red wigglers, 
four European night crawlers and four African night crawlers. So I have um, a slice of apple for each of these guys. It's very thinly sliced. I did weigh it out. So I'm just gonna bury this down in the corner. This will help jumpstart the microbial activity because of the fruit. And I'm gonna do half a scoop of my eggshell in each bin. To get it started. Like I said, I want this to be as scientific as possible. Okay, so now I'm gonna add our red wigglers, our European night crawlers. These were all mature worms, by the way, so I made sure each one of them had a clitellum so that they're ready to reproduce. And I'm going to leave the lids off of these bins for um, at least 24 hours, let these guys settle in, and then I will throw the lids back on when I'm finished. And I did make a label for each of the bins. So that's going to be the start of this, guys. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. I will put links below to everyone who is participating in this experiment so you can follow all of us. And I will be back with you guys real soon for an update. Hope you have an excellent Christmas.